Lexington Green knows the score for exciting shopping, dining, and entertainment. The following is an exclusive presentation of Raycom Sports. The pride of the Piedmont of the Palmetto State on display here at the Colonial Center in Columbia, South Carolina. Tonight is senior night, and for Dwayne Day, it means a great deal. As his team prepares to take on the Kentucky Wildcats, who are hopeful of making it into the month of March as an NCAA tournament team, they come in to take on the Gamecocks. Also tonight marks the final regular season home game for Dave Odom as head coach. After seven years here in Columbia, he decided at midseason to call it a career. Hello, everyone. I'm Tim Brando. It's great to have you with us. Emotions always run high on a senior night, and particularly when Kentucky comes in to play anyone. But as my partner Barry Booker will attest, when you know your coach is leaving and you've got a strong relationship with him, boy, it could almost go either way, couldn't it? Yeah, senior night is emotional. The home team, it's interesting to see if they can get geared down yeah. from the emotions of senior night and get ready to play basketball. All right, certainly Ramel Bradley is going to be called upon by Billy Gillespie to get a lot done, particularly with Patrick Patterson's gone. He's got to get it done. And Ramel Bradley loves playing against the Gamecocks. He's averaging over 20 points a game against South, South Carolina. And Devin Downey, the excellent point guard for South Carolina, getting it done on the other side. Great job scoring, assists. He's averaging over three steals a game, which will be big in a game where neither team has that inside scoring threat to get easy points. All right, Barry, let's get your Pontiac keys to the game. Well, Tim B, the keys to the game tonight. For Kentucky, it's replaced Patterson's twos. They have taken it inside to him and dominated the paint with him. Let's see what they can do without him. And for South Carolina, they rely on three-point shooting. They take more three-point shots as a percentage of field goal attempts than anyone else in the league. They got to knock them down tonight. The lineups and the opening tip on this very emotional night at the Colonial Center in Columbia. The Wildcats in to take on the game it's the first of two SEC games of the week. The All Gel SEC Game of the Week is being brought to you by Geico, by Chevrolet, by Q from Quaker State, by Infinity. And by AT&T. We welcome you back to the Colonial Center here in Columbia, South Carolina. Tim Brando, Barry Booker, happy to have you with us. And uh, let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Big Blue. Joe Crawford, he is a scoring machine to... Uh, Collaborate with Bradley, Jasper, Harris, and Curry. Certainly, as we mentioned, Patrick Patterson out for the second straight game out for the remainder of the year with that stress fracture. So no real low post presence for Kentucky. For South Carolina, their starting five will include Day, Archie, Holmes, Devin Downey, and Zam Frederick. And uh, there's Billy Gillespie, year one at Kentucky. And after a sluggish start with some very bad home losses, his team has been very hot in the month of February. And coming off our Herculean experience in Knoxville, playing without Patterson and uh, Bruce Pearl's team only eked out a three-point victory. And uh, Dave Odom, uh, the man of the moment, on the other sideline, began his career at Guilford, where he graduated in 1965, went on to coach in high school at Durham High School, made his way to an assistant's job at Wake Forest, not far away, and then Virginia, when he had a chance to join forces with uh, one of the outstanding coaches uh, of all time, Terry Holland, in the ACC. Terry is here tonight, and uh, a lot of people care deeply about Coach Odom, know how emotional this will be for him. Well, you see the series record, and it's lopsided as usual. As are most in yeah. the Southeastern Conference, where, where Kentucky is concerned. Uh, Kentucky has been playing at a slow pace. They have their last nine games, they have not reached 70 points. They're playing really good half-court defense, slowing the game into a half-court game, figuring they can out-execute their opponent, and it's been working for them as they have won nine of their last 11. The key to that, don't you think, Barry, is Ramel Bradley. He's got to play absolutely almost 
almost error-free basketball to keep the engine going and to operate that offense efficiently. Now that's the key. Patrick Patterson had been the key, and it'll be interesting. The Kentucky made some very difficult shots against Tennessee with the shot clock working against them. We'll see, first of all, if they play that style offensively tonight, and secondly, if they can make those shots with the shot clock working down. Gamecocks only have five to shoot as they inbound the ball. They're going to get a violation right away. And the Kentucky defense has been suffocating of late. The Cats are outstanding on the defensive end of the court. Uh, Dave might be saying to himself, that, that may be one of the, that position may have driven him right into the zone. <laughs> Maybe glad he's gone <laughs> after watching that one. Offensive foul, it'll go the other way. Or was it steps? It was steps, I beg your pardon. Bradley with an extra step, will go the other way. South Carolina looking for cutters going back there. Kentucky well defended. Archie looks inside. A dribble drive as he gave it up. Nice work to Mike Holmes who slammed it home. Beautiful job by Dominique Archie getting into the lane. Nice pass. Mike Holmes coming off his career high. 18 points to go along with seven rebounds at Auburn. Tell you the other young man that has really impressed me of late for Kentucky is this one, Derek Jasper. He has uh, come back from a knee injury that would have ended a lot of people's careers. Shot clock winding down to two. Now we've got two shot clock violations in less than two minutes. Wow. And it looks like we are going to play that slow, branded out half-court style. And the team that can get it into the paint, just as Dominique Archie did on that play, dropping it off to Moore, to Holmes for the easy finish. Mike Holmes slamming it in, getting it into the lane will be critical for both these ball clubs. Well, although South Carolina really likes to shoot the threes, getting that ball into the paint is going to be the key tonight. I don't know that I've ever done a game in my many years where we're, we had two shot clock violations one by each team in the first two minutes of the game. There's a nice pass inside. Again, the inability to finish a problem for South Carolina. Downey made a wonderful pass. Yes, indeed. Like the shot opportunity South Carolina's had so far. Ramon Harris comes away with a rebound, feeds Bradley. And Romero gives Kentucky the lead. Two and a half minutes gone here in Columbia. Kentucky shoots fewer threes in conference games only. Only 28% of Kentucky's field goal attempts have been threes. No other SEC team is under 30 as far as, far as their percentage of field goal attempts that are threes. Kentucky, without Patrick Patterson, they're shooting more threes, relying on those long jumpers. Bradley getting one in the last three. Okay, Downing's fun to watch. He had a tremendous game in the victory at Auburn this past week. On the wing day. Senior throws up an air ball to open it up. Wayne Day feeling the emotions of senior day. It can happen. Curry gets the feed and a little shooter's touch. Nice drive by Crawford. Beautiful dish. A nice finish by Mark Curry. He has earned his minutes, according to Billy Gillespie. There's the backdoor cut we mentioned. Nice pass threaded by Archie. Feeding of Sam Frederick and the Georgia Tech transfer draws the Gamecocks to within one. I love what South Carolina is doing offensively. They are attacking the basket. As is Crawford. Kentucky by three. Well, Joe Crawford has a capability of just having one of those 30, 35 point nights. I mean, it can happen almost any time. He is a very good three point shooter, and as he showed there, getting to the basket, very effective in that regard. Speaking of threes, Sam Frederick is no more as just a scorer when he transferred to South Carolina. But they vote him always felt he could do more. Bradley not there. Rebound cleared by Holmes. Now the pace starting to get up where Devin Downey is at his best. Downey getting the contact. Jasper coming over along with Ramel Bradley. Jasper gets the foul. 15-42 remaining in the opening half. And we're tied at the 
sets down an extra point. Ah, oh, get your hot dogs right here. I love it when the uh, soccer is fashionable. <laughs> Not used to being on camera, as you are, Timmy B. Who is that? 